I'm Esperanza Spalding, I rock jazz. The point is, is that there's, a, there's so much going on. And if you only had a chance to experience it and taste it, you might have an opportunity to not convert necessarily, but no, but but become more open to what else is out there. And that's really beautiful. That's what we all are. Wider palette. Wider palette. That's what we all are interested in. And not only from converting people, converting, bringing in audiences that may not be jazz fans, but also for us who have been stewed and nurtured in an environment that's so much more diverse than just jazz, if there are fans who would approach us because they are jazz musicians and jazz fans, through our music, we're also trying to instill other influences to also bring avid jazz fans to a wider palette of the music that's current. There's room for fans of all music, and there's room for, there's table space for every dish that anyone could want to eat. Well, I played with Donald quite a bit before he re recorded on my CD, too. And, um, you know, uh, you know, no, that's why you asked me. Um, he's a masterful musician. He's a master at what he does. And I remember a couple of times, I mean, the memory that's coming to mind is performing with him at a club with another saxophone player. I don't remember who it was right now. But they were, like, trading choruses. You know, at a certain point, one of the saxophone players had sort of reached the limit, and it seemed like they were both at their limit. And then all of a sudden, Donald just had like a, a whole other stratosphere that he could leap to, and then he had another stratosphere above that. And then you thought you had heard everything that he was going to do, and then he had like a whole other stratosphere on reserve. And that was really um, enlightening for me, just to see that depth of musical knowledge and having that wide of a palette of ways to use it. Um, that, it was sort of that, that you get a taste of what's possible, sort of, if that makes sense. Just seeing someone with that much music and access to it all. Um, so terribly inspiring, for sure. You know, I, I think if you're a young person that's been blessed to have serious teachers, they instill in you um, the understanding that it's a big responsibility, that you must commit and learn and expand for the sake of the music, but also for the sake of yourself as an artist, um, as a human being. So in that way, I feel responsible. But if I had not won a Grammy, I will feel responsible. <laughs> and if you're 14 somewhere practicing piano, you should feel responsible. And we all feel responsible because it's an art form and we're serious practitioners. So that's, that's a quality that you must acquire if you're going to play the music.